Hey everyone, this is Max Southern Bless Homestead, and here, give me a minute because I'm I'm out of breath. Me and my son, he's he's way back there taking a break. We are uh, tearing down the fence row here, up at my mom's house. We're cleaning up and everything because we're gonna um, put her out her, her house on the market, and so we're uh, cleaning up, tearing down this old barbed wire fence that was out front. And so we got these T posts here we got to pull up. So I'm going to show you an easy way to get a T post out of the ground. And uh, it, it's a lot less effort than trying to yank it out by hand because I about broke my back before doing that. But uh, anyway, um, won't be a long video. I'm just going to show y'all because you can see the fence line goes way back up, up to here. So we're tearing that down. And I just wanted to show y'all. An easy way to pull up a T post out of the ground. Start it. All right, yeah, come in here. Um, this is a uh, an old bumper, a truck bumper jack. Can you see it okay in there? And uh, just put it up on a board here. Man. I'm going to wrap this chain around the pole. And then just tie it off. That should hold. And then we'll see if this thing will jag it on up. These poles have been in here probably 20 years, 15, 20 years. I'm making it seem harder than it is special effects. <laughs> now, I don't think I got it up enough. Hopefully. They make a T-post puller for this, but crap, they want like 50, 60 bucks for it. So, uh, yeah, I might have to put it back on there again. Oh, well, there we go. Look at that. I didn't even know how strong I was. <sighs> okay. That's how you pull a T-post out of the ground. Unless you want to go to Tractor Supply and buy one for however much they are, 50, 60 bucks. But I had this old bumper jack and the chain. It works great. This is like the second or third one I've already pulled up. So, all right. Okay, let me show my son doing it. So that, uh, so you're gonna need a lot longer. You like put it halfway. Let's see, you're running out of, you see you got all this. There you go, there you go. So easy a caveman can do it. Now I'll hold the jack up for you. Yeah, yeah just crisscross, go around, the, wrap around the pole real tight a couple times. Do it like that. probably takes a little longer than the fancy t-post that you could buy but hey it's free it works great yeah leave that slack and then just let that drop and then wrap that around there 
There you go. There you go. Then when you come back, you just tie it off to that here. That should be good now. That should work. Um, now you gotta pull that lever up. Oh, yeah, real hard. It's real hard. There you go. Pull back on the jack. That thing's at an angle. I think there's a there's a. Uh... Oh boy, this is a tough one. Oh. Wow, well that is a hard one. Man, that's a tough one. Woo! Ugh, keep going. There we go, that's good. All right. All right. There you go. That's all this to it. We saw, we actually we dug him up out of the tall grass. <laughs> A little turtle. I love turtles. <laughs> He's so cute. Run, turtle, run. <laughs> yeah. I like. I love turtles. <laughs> okay well we got me some some wire some t-post out of the deal so nice little haul and the final the final product looks pretty good nice and cleaned up we still got some way up there to do but we're over halfway but looks really really good Ta da! Out of work. I'm tired. Got my helper. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> and then my mom. She's the boss. That's the boss lady. That's the lady about shot me for stealing her pears. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.